Hello everybody and welcome. This is Christine and thank you for joining me today for daily tarot energies and planetary aspects of the day as well. I'm just going to quickly light a candle because that's when we start the energies of the reading. Ah, that's got it. And um, the Cancer Moon. I've matched the cards out a little bit because uh, sometimes it's nice to get to know over time the astrological connections with the Rider Waite Smith card. So the moon in Cancer waits for the sun to travel into the sign of Virgo, of um, sun in Virgo, before it can just feel like it can go ahead with its plans. Family matters are in good hands with Mercury's energies and the Mercury's energies are flowing with Mars in a trine. Um, to have sort of things just go flow, things going along well, very well and cordial aspect for being around people, helping each other out. As the sun enters Virgo, um, the 22nd or wherever you are in the world to the 22nd of September, there's this energy of just wanting to take care of things in a very focused, if you look at him, he's very focused and efficient way because Virgo is an earth sign. And it's all about self-improvement, health, methods of work. And also you can find yourself just being inspired to push forward with your dreams and um, connecting with this Mercury energy that's uh, in Gemini as well. Uh, no, Mercury is still in Virgo. Sorry about that. <laughs> Which is flowing along nicely with Pluto. Um, giving us new thoughts and perspectives as how we want to do things and achieve things, all the things that we're wanting to achieve. And that will be by helping others out without wanting anything in return under the energy of this Cancer Moon um, family energy combined with the Virgo in the Sun. And uh, anyone can just benefit from the light of Virgo in the sun. It'll be a time of focusing on those little daily habits that we do, that's all these little things, or hear these little daily habits that we do that build up to success. Small things happen building onwards and upwards to what it is we want to achieve. So I'm just going to um, shuffle the cards for our energy reading for the collective, um, it's going to give us some insights into this energy. I sort of thought I would do um, an astrological spread and so I'm going to, it's going to be a little bit of a test with the room, the space on the table. So let's just see how we go with this. Uh, and that's why I'm using the smaller cards for the message um, to fit it all in. I just sort of felt drawn to doing that. I just go with my, how I feel on the day. So it's going to go. these up a little bit more and fit them in. I might have to overlap them but that's okay. We'll get there with that. We'll talk through the cards. Let me just talk through the cards as we go. I don't want to shuffle them again and I don't want to lay them out differently so I just know for next time and it is what it is. <laughs> so at the moment we have this energy of wanting to get things done gathering everything one at a time and pushing forward as as I said with the planets um, pushing forward to achieve and it's all achievements for things for the better in the long term and we know is the little ways to getting there so we're going to be sort of taking it all a step at a time and at times we may feel a little bit burdened with this energy um, wanting to get out and achieve this do this been wanting to do this have needing the red the right all those sorts of things so um, it, we could just have to keep moving forward with what it is we are wanting to create. Uh, what can help us with that is people from the past. 
people who we know like and trust that's that family energy there's going to be help coming in and it's going to be someone who's not as i said without stars it's not, they're not going to want anything in return they're just here to help out with that um what was that, that pluto energy coming in and that's sort of lovely um to be able to know that one that you can do a good turn for somebody and just not have to, not knowing they go that's fine the universe will catch up it's that old um if you do something good it comes back threefold but it doesn't mean you're sitting there counting with your booklet going oh well, i did that good and i did that good so where's the energy come on universe providing it's subtle and it can happen in its own time and in its own way in the right time our daily finances are going to have a bit of a shake up and i will do a video <laughs> On this because Uranus is about to go um, backwards um, retrograde and it is in the house of um, Taurus the second house so that which has come up in the show here so this is sort of a little bit ahead of, <laughs> of the planetary energies however be forewarned and start focusing on little things you can do <coughs> on me to keep get your financial house in order as Uranus starts moving backwards in the second house of finances so if you've had any sudden things that surprises with money you need you will need to get on top of it which you will by looking out to the future and taking a steady hand and taking control of what you need to take control maybe doing something extra at work looking out for opportunities with that and um, there is an opportunity coming your way that could change your life so maybe there is an opportunity for some more hours or a side hustle or things like that with this energy you can expect to hear news and and be having conversations with friends about new beginnings people wanting to start little businesses people wanting to uh, I think there's um, government help coming maybe in some quarters um, to get and if you've got an idea to be able to get it off the ground now's the time to sprout your ideas if you're thinking of doing something or as I said just be able to take charge of the situation at work um, and get in put in for new hours or maybe some of you are going to be starting something a new position with that this because you only have to look around you and there could be friends tightening their belts because people know that there could be a bit of a shock a financial shock coming um, be that just supply issues we've been having for many people winter's coming and they have to put away because um, of fine uh, needing payment for like heating and things the same as we have to put away now for air conditioning so we don't sort of cark it because with weather so that is sort of coming with that so it's we're all in the same boat and we're probably having these conversations with our friends of getting those tips and ideas on how to be able to manage the shortages delays and blockages that we're all seem to be going through at the moment you could find <clears throat> that um, you get this sort of habit happening in your life where um, you just sort of give without wanting to anything in, um, in return and it all is coming back you also find that you'll be doing daily habits of small things that can help you you get a good sense of belonging by connecting with spiritual people doing spiritual practice many of you will possibly face not face but wanting to sort of set up a little space or an altar or a sort of meditation space um, or just set aside that time to meditate to be able to just deal with the changes that are happening in our lives um, because there's a lot of change around at the moment you have this talent for being able to fly your ideas around and grasp an idea and be successful with it you also have a talent for being able to speak your mind and needing to speak your mind and rein in your thoughts and speak your mind and uh, that is with the eight page of swords in the uh, what's that fifth house we talked about the sixth house about having a talent for being able to 
go with the flow with things um, looking at opportunities where you think something's not going well you're going to see it as an opportunity because as they say no mud no lotus so any um, distractions or in those general ups and downs that we have in life you'll find you'll be able to just turn it around and get it all flowing for it because the lesson you are learning is about patience and going with the flow the best way to look after yourself is to stay hydrated and be around people who you know like and trust with that so I'll just move those up a little bit now we can see the next half coming in uh, that's all right <clears throat> nothing ventured nothing gained it's all about <laughs> that you could find yourself being attracted to someone who is has money and an earth sign and is very much a family person because there's a lot of family um feelings around so you, if you're looking for someone in your life it's it's sort of a good time to be out socializing to accept every invitation that's sent to you you may meet someone at a family gathering and um that as a friend of a family friend of family 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 at, at, at some sort of family event and it's going to be very promising for you if that is what you're looking for if you are in a relationship things are flowing very nicely and uh that is just a wonderful energy to have around um as i said there is this constant energy coming in of helping each other out helping friends family out of helping people out who are fat friends who are like family as well this is overriding umbrella of energy if you like <laughs> with that uh, it gives you special meaning in your life to be able to look to the future and stay optimistic for the future and be able to take something extra on you're going to find yourself doing three things um, some of you may have three jobs some of you may have you may have a job and in your family life and then you're also going to take up like a hobby or a craft that's going to bring in some extra income or possibly doing some because um, these ones are often about creativeness and businesses and side hustles and things like that but with it there's this wonderful optimism around that area um, and maybe you're just going to do some extra study that will allow you to gain as the your education level goes up your um, pay is attached to it so there's that sort of energy with that you could find that at work there's a lot of partnerships happening at work there's a lot of offers coming in in the work area and that's going to put in extra work for you because these two talk to each other and that could be what's going on maybe your workload's going to increase but through it comes extra money because that will help out with these situations um, well maybe you're the one that's um, getting promoted or being given an offer or maybe you're the one that's going to be offering someone else a chance and an opportunity in life um, with that you could find that uh, friends as I've talked about with these four here friends might be going through a difficult time and it's an opportunity to be able to help friends out or, or maybe you're just sort of all getting together and sharing ideas on how you can put stuff away to be able to weather out the times in the, fu the, the future of what's around of what could be around the corner with the shake up um, with Uranus which I'll talk about more with Uranus going retrograde uh, in a few days when we get into that planetary energy I think it's the 24th so by the end of this week you can expect to have people from you've seen, known for a long time just be popping back into your life because we're getting into that um, retrograde energies coming up and so it's like that shadow before the retrograde and the, that's the energy so expect to see people from the past some say ghosts from the past but um, people from the past coming in doing things from the past um, is a sort of an energy of the moment 
and then also as I said no matter what is going on do not rush into everything sometimes you achieve more by doing nothing and I would always wait to another moon phase before it's time to do anything um, unless it's an emergency of course but just with general decisions if you can sleep on it or think about it for a couple of days and and um, give it some thought that will sort of help any decisions that have to be made rather than running in and making decisions and finding out that they were the wrong ones so thank you for watching uh, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video bye for now